Like, where is she? That is like my niche part of history that I love. And this is getting out of hand now. This I look quite pretty. Hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to day one of Bookmas. I am so excited to be doing Bookmas this year. It's been a long time coming. I did it last year. I really struggled with it last year because I was a full-time uni student, and this year I am in a full-time job. So, you know, life is very different. I'm doing exactly what I want to do, but also there's a lot, I don't have a lot of time, so let's hope this bookmas goes goes well but for the first day of bookmas i wanted to pick out some books that i'm going to be putting on my december tbr and we're going to be doing this like normal we're going to be planning what reading vlogs i've got for bookmas and we're also going to be adding some mood reading video some mood reading books on there i feel like that could be could be quite good so this month i have let me get my notebook that is just kind of full of all thoughts I have. This month I have three reading vlogs I want to do for Bookmas that are specific Bookmas book vlogs, <laughs> reading vlogs, words are seemingly lost. Two of them are specific and the other one is more like mood reading which is fun which is exciting so I'm not gonna be choosing the books for the mood reading video I'm just gonna kind of pick up what I want as and when but there are also a few other books that I want to pick up this month as well just lots of things so we're gonna start off with the reading vlogs so the two reading vlogs that I have are very specific to this time of year so we'll be picking some books so let's start with those I'm gonna start off with the first one and I have a list of the books that I want to read anyway for this vlog but I thought I'd just include them in this video so without further ado let's get in to my december tbr these are the books i've already decided i'm definitely reading in december like without a shadow of a doubt because they're all very festive reads so we have make the season bright by ashley herring blake this was sent to me and honestly i've never read an ashley herring blake book but i'm very excited about this one i think it's like a queer festive second chance romance and just oh, just even the cover is just so pretty so this is the first one that i'm going to be putting on that we're definitely reading we then have a merry little meat cute which is kind of a long book like this is over 400 pages which i think for a romance book is kind of long but i've had this for i want to say a year maybe two no definitely a year definitely a year i kind of missed the christmas time for this book last year so i decided this christmas i'm definitely reading this and i think there's a third one coming out there's definitely two out now but there's a third one that's up and coming I fear. Then we have Love Light Farms. I've been waiting to read this series for so, so long. Let me tell you. But because I got it at a really weird time of the year and I wanted to wait because each book is set in a different season. So there are four books. This one is set on a Christmas tree farm. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait until it's Christmas time again. Yeah, I think this is fake dating, which sign me up and then we have spectacular which let's get this sticker off first of all let's get that gone which is a caraval novella i loved caraval i absolutely ate up once upon a broken heart and i just can't wait for this one and um, plus it's super short oh my god there are pictures there are pictures in here oh it does uh, adorable so that's also something that i'm adding on to the tbr so those are the first four those are the festive reads that i want to get to this december since you know it is the damn season now let's pick the books for my other reading vlog and then we can get into some mood reading and if you're thinking days how are you going to read this many books let's not even start shall we <laughs> i've been putting this book on my tbr for so long and i think this is the month where i finally want to get to it and that is what the river knows by isabel ibanez i'm not getting into this one again because like this has been on so many tbr videos now that it's actually embarrassing but this one is going on oh that's a good one if I we are now consorting the book cupboard i also have no idea where this book is going to be in the cupboard aha it is shelf two Wow, I have so many books that I didn't know I owned. I can't find the copy of the book that I want, so I don't know where I've put it. Okay, so I've lost a book, so it seems. The first book that I want to read is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I have had this on my list for so long, and I just think it's time. I fear it's time. Also, V.E. Schwab's new book we're publishing, and I just feel like I need to read more V.E. Schwab. So, Darker Shade of Magic. And then I wanted to put on The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. Don't know why I literally have a copy of this special edition copy. I don't know where that is. Like, I'm also thinking of adding on Modern Divination by Isabel Agajanian. I think that's how you say her name. Those are the books so far, but I do think we should just ha maybe have a look in the TV arc cart 
to see if there's anything else I want to read. Oh, and also I want to finish Bear Town. This is getting out of hand now. This is how many books I want to read before the year is out and it's stressful. I am... Um, 121 pages in can't lie not really enjoying it but everybody i've spoken to about this book has said to stick with it and just carry on and then you'll like it which i think is a terrible piece of advice <laughs> but um that is what i'm doing with this book so i'm reading it slowly but whatever okay let's go have a look at the tv arc card i'm actually really concerned about my lee bardugo <laughs> oh like where is she She's not in the cupboard. If she's not in the cupboard, like, she doesn't exist. So the book that I'm thinking of reading is Quicksilver. Then I... <laughs> but then I saw this and I was like, oh, I don't know. How many pages is this? I just filmed that whole clip. I didn't film a thing. Um, I found my Lee Bardugo book. It's on the top of my shelves, which I forgot that I put stuff there wow so silly for me so silly anyway um i what i was saying i wanted to read quicksilver however she's 600 pages she's so pretty she's so pretty but i look quite pretty she's 600 pages so not happening i kind of want to read this you know six wild crowns also this was sent to you by orbit it's like a retelling of henry the eighth the six wives of henry the eighth which if you uh, henry the eighth Henry the Eighth, and if you don't know, I'm really into the, the Tudors and Mary Queen of Scots. That is like my niche part of history that I love, and I know so many people love that part of history. But like from Henry the Eighth, Catherine of Aragon, Henry the Eighth, to Mary Queen of Scots, up to when Queen Elizabeth give, gives James the throne, that period of history, phenomenal, incredible. I love it, and they gave me court part, which I'm gonna be so real with you. If I'm any court, it's Anne Boleyn, like. Anne Boleyn is my queen, okay? I don't think she did anything wrong. Said it. Anyway, whole tangent there. So I'm kind of wanting to... I don't really know what this is about. Sapphic yearning. Dragons. I think I might put this on. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get to it. Let's go have a, let's go have a roundup of what's on the D TBR. Okay, so on my very ambitious December TBR, we have Bear Town by Frederick Buckman. This kind of tells the story of boys who are playing hockey, but the lives of the people in the town more so and how it all revolves, revolves around hockey. But I think there's going to be more to it. Like, that's all I know right now, but there's definitely going to be more to this book. We have Modern Divination. I just can't wait for this. This comes out in January. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. A Dark Shade of Magic by the Ishwa, which is the first in a series. And if I hear one word about how many series I should I will be starting, I want no I want nothing. No comments, okay? Zilt. Don't mention it. What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. We have two Isabels on this, spelled the exact same way. That's so fun. Six Wild Crowns by Holly Race. Spectacular by Stephanie Garber. Love Light Films by BK Borison. Make the Season Bright by Ashley Herring Blake. And then finally, we have A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. So those are all the books that are going to be on my December TBR. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you for the next Bookmas video. And I can't wait. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy this year's Bookmas.